So, you know, today we worked with the blocks and we figured out how to do the mean with blocks. Mm -hmm. And we worked on the algorithm. But what we're really going to focus on in this learning is what it what the meaning of the mean is uh -huh. and how to find it with graphs. That's our goal today. Wait, but I thought we were doing the algorithm. We're going to do the algorithm tomorrow. Are we in this uh, video that's recording? A little bit. Wow. <laughs> but, you know, let's make it let's make it useful, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, so sit up. They only, see, yes, they only see the board. Okay, so I'll wait till it's quiet. Okay, so the mean says if if in this picture over here, if we zoom in on this picture, oh, it's going to be one of those days. No. That's okay. Why? Personal problems. Um, I'm going to wait till you guys are ready to listen. So in this picture here, we figured out with blocks that the mean is four people. And what that means is, can you tell us? in your own words, complete the sentence, if every house was the same size, what is what would it be? If every house had the same number, same number of people, how many would they have? How how tall would these stacks be? Remember when we tried to level four. these stacks out? Four. Yeah, they were each four. So, then like for example, remember with the blocks we put two here? Yeah. And so then this became a stack of four. Uh huh. And this is now a stack of four. So uh -huh. we put two off. And then, like, this is already a stack of four. So just add that one way to add it to each one. So I could put that there, which would make that a stack of four. And then I can make this a stack of four. And take that one over here. So the mean says if every house had the same number of people, in this case, they would have. Four. That might be because I. It's a hard question to ask clearly when you're learning. Can I get a thumbs up, thumbs down on that? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I know you guys love to hear yourself. Okay. So we're gonna look at this now. In front of you, you have this sheet. Kind of. You have the book. Wait, my sheet's down there. I left it down there. Okay. So I'll pause. Get your stuff. We're going to take the book here and the page that you have in front of you, which is like a lab sheet. And try to like see how the book ties into the lab sheet and then I'll give you a little bit of work to do. Um, 35. Yeah, so it's a little blurry when I do it that way, but you you have this on page 35, right? Well, we have 36. But you need the reading. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have it. What are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. The reading is in there. You need the reading. So I'm going to just go to the reading because you have the lab sheet in front of you. So that, oh, it's printed up all as one. Okay, that's on page 36. Okay, it's on page 36. All right. So, Lily, why don't you read that for us? You can use an ordered value bar graph to find the mean of the data set. An ordered value bar graph and a dot plot are shown below. Both display the number of people in six households found in household size table one. Okay, stop there. That's a lot of information already. Right? So, Octavia, tell me something that she read about. This is called what? An order value bar graph. Okay, Xander, what else was in the rate reading? Um, that, what is it? Okay, did she read that yet? I was trying to find what. Okay, so she, she read that there was also a second display. What kind of display is the second display? 
a dot plot, right? Oh. And both of them show the same thing. What do they show, Charlotte? Charlotte, sorry, both displays, what do they show? The number of people in the six households. So this is kind of tricky. Which group? Not right now, John. No. I can't see you. Um, so, so in other words, they both show six people, but they show it really differently. We're pretty familiar with the dot plot. So six people are one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and one family here has two people. You see that? Yep. So over here, you are going to see a bar on this order value bar graph that represents, that one bar represents a, represents a family with two people. There's not, there's not usually anything over here. So, the so, so it's just telling you, I see what you're saying. You're asking why here. It's just so you don't have to project down. They're making it easy for you to read. Okay. There's two families that have three people. Do you see that? Yeah. Two families. And so here's the one family with three people. And then here's the other family with three people. How many families, Travis, have six people? And how do you see that in each display? Like in this display compared to the line, the dot plot. Oh, there he is. Okay, the amount of dots. So there's two six dots. You see that right there? And then there's two bars that are six length in length. And so, Charlie, how many families have four people? One. And, and then how do you see that in the display? Yeah, there's just four. There's a dot for four, and there's this one bar left over. Can I get a thumbs up, thumbs down on that? Finn, you need to put that away. So it's just... So I'm going to clean this up. So they represent the same thing, but they represent it differently. Raise your hand if you have a question, and let's just do a couple questions. Zuru. So the numbers there just mean how many, like, so it would be uh, the bar, the bar graph thing. Yeah, so like only the four. Yeah. It's just telling you it's lined up with four. Okay, and then what the numbers, so there is two threes, so that would be there's two groups. That's right. So there's two dot threes, so there has to be two bar threes. Oh. Jennifer. Jessica. Why isn't there any numbers on, like, the side? Like, yeah, like, it's because, it's because this type of graph, you don't need numbers on the side the because you're just looking at the number of people in the family and the bar sticks out, <laughs> like, like, if there, there's only one family with two people, so you draw that bar. So we're going to practice, because you get better if you practice. So go to your lab sheet, and you have the same information there. It's, it's the same information, right? Yeah. But they put the names on the side to help you out, right? But if you look at it, it's the same information. Okay? But oh, yeah. I want you to see that. Wait, but this one's categorical now. No, it's not. Because remember, that's a great question. You always look across the bottom. It's so numerical. If, if numbers are if numbers are on the bottom, that's numerical. Yes. If the words are on the bottom, it's categorical. Oh, I thought if it was just words like on the side or on the bottom. No, that's great. You get it's a great question. So, remember how we found the mean with the algorithm? Your job is to be able to do it with the picture today. So watch what I'm going to do. You take a straight line here, okay? And you're going to just move the straight line until, and they did the first one for you, so until you visually can see uh, a couple of things here. So do you see that there's one, two, three, four little 
boxes that I chopped off? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. Put them down there. Jessica, what do you see? You can put them down there to fill in the spaces. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And these are gone now. So it's like the blocks. And so by finding the mean line, and they put a little triangle there. That's like a hint. The oh, mean, yeah. without the algorithm, without all that work, is okay. four. Now sometimes you can't use the mean line because the problems aren't always quite as simple, but when it is a simple problem, we want to use the mean line. Can you please take your hood off? Okay. So what you're going to do is we're going to make this order value bar graph, and I'm going to pause this together here for this next one and a line plot, dot plot, and then we're going to find the mean line for another group. But what I want you to say, what I think is helpful is it was really easy for you guys to read this because you're familiar with it. So what I want you to do is first make this line plot with the data for a different group. You're making a order value I know it says value order bar graph, but usually it will say order value bar graph and a dot plot to display the data. I would do the dot plot first because you're familiar with it. And then when you do your order value bar graph, you always want it in low to high. So the shortest bars are going to be towards the bottom. So in the other class, I don't think I communicated that clearly. We want to order our data first. So we want our shortest bars to be at the bottom, and they get longer as we go to the top. And you're going to do that right now. So let's pause. That. Is this what your dot plot looks like in purple, or did I make a mistake? That's what mine looks like. Mine's not purple, but it looks like that. So we're okay with the dot plot? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so... Um, Nicole, what should I do to make the... Order value bar graph. Let's wait till everybody's ready to listen. Oh, I see some of you guys are doing it. Okay, go ahead. You want the bars to go out to the side. And we start with which number? So, so the starting from the bottom always. Yeah, so. I'm going to do what I think she's saying. You're going to go out to the side to three. And then Zuru asked a question. Do you have to shade it in? In fact, I wouldn't because sometimes you guys spend so much time shading that Wait. if you make a mistake, it's frustrating to undo. Wait, I just did all these crosses. That's fine. Oh, okay. But you want to go low to high. So she did the three. Am I, do I do anything else? I'm going to do another three because there's this three and this three. Okay, and then uh, Vance, what now? Two threes. Three fours. So I'm going to go out to the four. And then, you know, the smart board's a little hard for me to be perfect on. You guys could use a straight edge. Although I would say this is pretty neat. You just want to make sure you stay on the line so you can use this later. So he said three fours. And then Maggie. Maddie. I'm mm. doing terrible today. All day I've been doing that. Maddie. Yeah, Matthew. What happens, Maddie? Next. Uh huh. So we've done the three fours, right? Yeah. Out to the number six. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Lucas, can you help me find the mean using a mean line? Not an unfriendly line. So here's my mean. Oh, I wanted that to be green, but it could be yellow. How, how can I use that to find the mean without doing the algorithm? How can you use what do I need to do, Lucas? Um, so, like, you can, for the dot plot, or which one? 
for this. So you, oh, great question. You can't find a mean line with a dot plot ever. That's what most people, that's a common mistake. Okay, so I'm so glad you asked that. You only can do the mean line with this. You can never move the dots around because the dots tell you exactly how many families they are and how many people are in a family. Okay, so we only use a mean line on an order value bar graph. So where, could you tell me where, if oh, I should I stop, well, Lucas here, or tell me when you think I should stop? Uh, there. Lucas, how many Lucases are there? There. 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 And why, so, why did he because, do that, Lily? Really? Because we have to add two more to the... These two yeah, to fill in here. Two. Right, so... Yes. In summary, VB, can you tell me what the mean is? Um, the mean yeah. household size? <laughs> Why? What's the mean household size from that mean line? Ooh. It's four, where the yellow line is. And that means that if all the houses were the same size, if all the families were the same size, they would all have four people. Did you get that? Okay. So what I want you guys to do is turn your... We're going to keep practicing if you don't. I just want to do one more, start one more with you. I want you to look at this. In your note catcher, page 31. Okay? So find that. What I want you to what I want you to see here on page 31 is that this is like a nice summary, this top problem of what we just talked about, but the drawing's so much better than when I did it, because I did this drawing with the computer. But it's kind of nice to summarize with something nice and neat. So it draws the mean line in, but it also uses the algorithm like Finn did. Even though we're going to focus on the algorithm tomorrow, um, you could add up all of the numbers. So I'm wondering, I know that sometimes it's hard for people to see where those numbers come from. I, you could take them from either the dot plot or the line plot, I mean the bar, ordered value bar graph. So looking up here real quick, everybody, like I, from the ordered value bar graph, I see there's a one, and then I see there's three twos, and then there's a three, and then there's a five, and then there's a six. Just like over here, I see there's a one, three twos, a three, a five, and a six. They give the same information differently. So if I wanted to, if I can make an ordered list, I could also find the median and the mode and all of that stuff. So, um, Zara, what's the mode? Two. 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 Right. The mode is two. Okay. And Jack, where's Jack today? Oh, can you find the median? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven data points. So what's the median? How do I? The mode is two. We have to find the middle of the data, right? The median is two. And what's the mean? Look at the mean line. Three. Three. Okay, those are three different things. Lily, do you want to ask the question? Oh, I thought for the, um, I forget what it's called, but whenever you subtract the highest from the, the range. Okay, you could do the range also. So the range would be six, take away one, so the range is five. Yeah, that, that's right. Okay. So tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna practice on these. I have a homework problem for you. So flip over your worksheet. Yeah. This needs a little explanation. This is how we're gonna wrap up, and it's super important that you pay attention because there's one hard thing on this. It's hard for adults. 
Okay, this is about Ben and Bob. That's what I was confused. Okay, well, let's read it together. Ben and Bob are learning to surf. Okay, so over here is Ben's surf times and Bob's surf times. Their mother times how many seconds the boys stand on their surfboard during each ride. So the dot plots to the right show the distributions of the 10 surf times. Okay. So it turns out that Bob once got on his surfboard and what happened here? He just fell. He fell right off. He wasn't even on for a second. That is how you learn to surf. Okay? But then there was three times where he stayed on for a whole second. Wow. Have you been surfing, you guys? Yeah. 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 I've been surfing. None of you have been surfing. Okay. Exactly. None of you have been surfing before. Come on, guys. You guys are like, oh my. Okay. Who has never been surfed? It is true. This is what happens when you learn to surf. You fall right off. And, and you might not the first time, but you definitely fall off. Okay. So, Travis. Uh, it could be like snowboarding, right? It's kind of the same thing. But what I really want to do is make sure you know how to take this data before you go home tonight and understand how to do the work. So they did the doc lab for you. You guys already showed me, Jessica that you know how to do an order value bar graph, but there's one weird thing on this order value bar graph. And what is so unusual here? Does it have oh. any numbers? There's, well, we need numbers. So if I put a zero here and a one, and you should add those in as part of your assignment. What else It's a little bit different? Oh, there's one with none in it. There's one with none in it. Man, are you observant today? No. So there's nothing here. Do you see that? There's nothing there. Why? Yeah. Well, what happened here? For Bob, for Ben. Well, so since he didn't even like a second. He didn't even get a second. So you have to leave a space for the zero. That's a little weird, isn't it? But I know how we still do. Well, the problem's not finished. So your job is to go home and do the problem. It says use the grids to below to create an order value bar graph for each boy. Ben's first five values have been graphed. They're back. So look at Ben's first five values have been graphed, so you need to keep graphing. I'm gonna wait, guys. Excuse me. So you need to keep graphing, so what would be the next bar? Look at this. Is the zero there? What's the next one, Xander? We need another two. Do you guys see that? Because the zero is here, right here. The three ones, these three ones, they're right here. There's one two so far. So you have to add another one in, Lily. Wait, to make the even, would you? I would just go like that. Take one away. Take up. Uh, they all work like the ones. Well, yeah. first you're going to make the order value bar graph, and then you use the mean line to make them easier. No. So you can't move these dots around. You can never move these dots. You have to. Oh, this group. You, I'm sorry. you have to complete it, and then make the mean line. Oh, you're going to do, you're going to work for 30 minutes on this. So maybe do Ben and Boss. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's it. Okay.